Today we're going to show you our first 10 comic slabs. Let's rock and roll, buckaroos. Before we get into the video though, it is time to announce the winner for the WandaVision 3-pack. I know it's not a WandaVision 3-pack, but it's a WandaVision giveaway for the 3-pack, Wanda, Magneto, and Quicksilver. Quicksilver. You forgot for a second. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, over to Comment Picker. Here we are. So we have it filtered. I got the video in here. Uh, no duplicate users, which I think everyone was fine. They didn't, you know, try to get duplicate entries in. But just in case I missed something. our audience likes to play fair. Yes, we have very nice people and respectable, kind people. Soup Jake. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you had to put hashtag Paco to be entered. And we have a total of 22 entries today, which is pretty good, pretty good. Uh, awesome three-pack. A little surprise, more people didn't want to be entered, but also kind of on my bad... I should have advertised a little bit better. I've been busy this week. But, better odds for you all, isn't that right? So, That's your drum roll. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let's... Yeah, do it on the chair arm. Do it on the chair Starbright. Starbright. Isn't that the character from... Uh, uh, I uh, almost said Breaking Bad. But no, The Boys, right? I think it's The Boys character. Uh. Or is it Starlight? No, that's Starlight. Is it Starlight or Starbright? This is a pony. <laughs> I don't know. But congratulations! Uh, hit me up. Send me an email. 36symbols at gmail.com. Pay attention to the spelling. It's down down there. Look at the spelling. Make sure you spell it just like that. Otherwise, well, I won't get the email. Right. Let me know where I need to send this. And congratulations yet again. Super sweet three-pack. You star bright. Super sweet. Are a winner. Whether you're a pony or a boy's character or w something else entirely. You're a winner. You're a winner. That's what you are. All right. Now let's cut back over. All right. So we're going to get into our first 10 comic slabs now. We're going to do it in order of newest, like most modern comic to oldest comic. Because we tried to figure out, we tried to come to an agreement on like top 10 and we couldn't do it. So we figured this would be an easier way to set them up. So starting off, oh bam, right there. <laughs> this is Thor five. Is that hold on? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Thor five, the one in twenty five variant, uh, the Ribic cover, super sweet, awesome. Big fan. First, uh, first full appearance of Black Winter. So very special book. This was actually the first book I sent in to get graded. Now keep in mind, we've only really been collecting comics for six months. Yeah, roughly say, six months. Roughly know, about yeah. that. So, this is our first 10. We're pretty new into it, but... Planning on getting more. I mean, look at the Marvel Legends. It's a pretty sweet collection, I gotta say, of, of our first 10 slabs. Here, I take that there. They're pretty solid. So, super sweet cover again, Thor, as the All-Father and, um... Uh, Harold, oh, Harold Galactus. of Galactus. I want to say Galactus of Harold, but that was wrong. But anyway, oh, man, got right. Galactus' hand in the background. Super He's sweet like, book. I'm gonna grab you. And super sweet series as well. I really love the series. Oh, bam. And then we got Cosmic Ghost Rider destroys Marvel Marvel history number one. Yeah, he's got the Infinity Gauntlet. This he's... is the uh, Clayton Crane cover with the Clayton Crane signature. Where's the signature? Right it's there. The silver right there. You can uh, see it. Yeah, you can see that signature right there. Bada bang, bada boom. Um, oh, right I forgot there. to mention the last one. This is a nine point six. Obviously, you can probably read, but maybe you can't. Who knows? This is a nine point four, which I was a little bummed out about this one because. With books like this that are like store exclusives and everything, they don't get read, you know what I mean? So you wouldn't think that you would get a 9.4, but maybe it was handled wrong or something. I don't even know. It was like one of the corners was a little blown out or something. But you would think they'd be handled pretty well. Uh, but unfortunately, something happened some long, it's somewhere along the way. It's their fault, not ours. Regardless, very cool book. One of my favorite like just art pieces of all time. Oh, I'm not going to say the years they were... Oh, no, 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 nah, nah, nah. that's too much time. We just, we're starting with the modern books, just, and we're going backwards in time. Because I, I personally think some of the cooler books are some of the older ones. But, well, moving man. on to, I think, number eight. Well, I don't know how to count. Yeah. War Machine, no, okay, this is Iron Man 282. But, you know, he's got the spray paint War Machine over top of it. 
This is the first... No more Mr. Nice Iron Man. First full appearance of War Machine, also first cover appearance, and one of the coolest pieces we have. I'm a big like, fan of the War Machine, especially the classic War Machine armor. We're also uh, big Iron Man fans here. Big Iron Man fans. Uh, as you can see, is that big the... Iron fans. Where's the Iron Man shelf? Right... You point Which to. side is it? Yeah, there. there you go. That's the Iron Man shelf. We have, I think, over 50, right? Yeah. I think over 50 sure. Iron Man figures. Let's go with that. Well, that's not even counting the 3.75. So we probably so, got yeah. close to, like, in a box let's somewhere. say roughly 80 Iron Man figures. Okay. And then we got the big oh, ones up top. Like if you watched the tour video, you would have seen the big you boys. You would have seen the big boys. But um, anyway, War Machine, super sweet cover. And I think, personally, this book's going to be going up soon. We got Armor Wars showing up. He's also going to show up in uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. Yeah. so Maybe I th- not in the War Machine armor, but he's showing up in there. Really. <sighs> he's not going to not show up in a War Machine armor. Anyway. Who else is going to make him new? Which, oh, by the way, this isn't, in case you don't know, this isn't Rhodey. So if you're personally a big fan of Rhodey, which we are as well. Big fan of Rhodey. Um, and you want to get Rhodey's first appearance, that's a bit later on. I forget the number it is. But, um... Time yeah. for New Mutants. Number seven. Bada bing. Is this low on the list? This was, this is one of my favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. We, we didn't do it in order. We did it in year order. I forgot. Yeah, year order. Yeah. This is like 90 or something, right? Yeah. yeah. But um, 91. This is a new book we just right? picked up yeah. pretty recently. First Deadpool, Gideon, and Domino. You pointed it the wrong. <laughs> Look, I did, I did two out of three right. It's fine. <laughs> I almost did it wrong. First Gideon, first Dom, no, first Deadpool. Dom, Dom no. <laughs> what have you done? All right, anyway, super cool book. This book is exploding in value. Now, this is just a 9.0 uh, because I didn't want to spend that much money, <laughs> and it's not a new stand variant either. So It's got one of my favorite backs of books. Regardless, very cool. It does have a very cool back, very sweet Punisher uh, on the background there. But regardless, very hot book. And I think it's going to go up even more as um, when the new uh, Deadpool movie gets closer and then eventually comes out. This is one of my and favorite books. Whatnot. Gambit! Yeah, this is the first appearance of Gambit. 9.6, right? Yeah, or 9. No, 9. My bad. 9. I don't, I, thought, I don't know why I thought we had 9.6. 9.0, new stand edition here. I'm wrong side. There we go. God. Not just first appearance, first cover it. appearance, too. Oh, yeah, he yeah, looks yeah. a bit dark and gritty because that's when he was a villain. Yeah, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. I mean, same thing with Deadpool. He started off as a villain. Yeah. I actually started off as a uh, Deathstroke imposter, but, <laughs> you, know, like, you know, characters homage. evolve. It was a rip-off, Chris. Yeah, <laughs> Don't fair enough. It. it was, hey, we like the way that character It was a looks. more obvious rip-off than most. Yeah. But Gambit's his own cool little dude. Then this is one of, I mean, your favorite X-Men, right? Definitely sure. my favorite X-Men. This boring, or this back's not as exciting. No pun it might be a back. tie between favorite character of him and Moon Knight. Yeah. So, yeah, he's up there for your top favorite characters, huh? Yeah. But definitely favorite X-Men. Time for Thor, Man Moving Rainbow. on to theoretically number Bang. five. Who knows? Um, <laughs> Thor 337. I can't count anymore. Yeah, I don't, haven't been counting. I, I, I don't think we, st- it's we stopped counting. It's on six. Counting, We're like, on six. This is number six? Yep. Well, no, this would be number four, then. What? Because this would be ten, right? Oh, Ten, come nine, backwards. Eight, seven. Yeah. Oh, no, this is six. Hold on. Oh, God, what have I... I've made an avalanche. Okay, Thor 337. This is the Canadian price variant, which is right there. Bang. 75 center instead of a 60 cent. This would be five. No, this five here. Yeah, that would make this number five. No, this would make this... Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're here for comics, not for math. Math is for nerds. I failed math. <laughs> I did fail math. Anyway, <laughs> we got an 8.5 on here. Bit of a lower grade, but like I said, it's a Canadian price variant. Super cool. Another book. I keep telling people, pick this one up because Beta That's Ray Bill's coming. a lower grade. We can't count. <laughs> <laughs> Beta Ray Bill's coming. I don't know when. I think Guardians 3, but... They've said Guardians 3, haven't they? No, he hasn't been announced. No, the book would be so much more expensive. But it's a lot of rumors that it's going to be Guardians 3. Uh, but anyway. Get it. Taskmaster. Number four, I think. God, this does not show up that well on camera, I'm noticing. But the green is way better. This is one of my favorite covers. One of my favorite books for a lot of reasons. I love Taskmaster, so it's first appearance of Taskmaster. We got a 9.0 on this bad boy. Um, he says a little snarky line right there. Well, he just shows up and beats up the Avengers. I love it. Anyway. Yeah. Well, he shows up and the Avengers are already captured. And anyway. But the colors on this book are so old school and great. Like his orange cape and then just the bright green background. I really like this cover. 
But the green is not quite showing up how it is in real life here on the camera. But regardless, super sweet book. Um, Taskmaster, you know, showing up in... Uh, uh, I almost said WandaVision. That is entirely incorrect. Black Widow. Black movie. Widow. Um, we know things here. <laughs> but I don't, things. I don't think he's going to be smart. quite like he is. He's not going to be as well, goofy. As he's not, not going to be as goofy as, as he is in the comics. Like, I'm reading the Taskmaster run right now, and he's very goofy. He's very competent and skilled and, like, thinks things through, but he's also ridiculous. To be fair, we haven't heard him talk in any of the trailers. He could be very goofy. It's true, but he looks pretty, serious. Um, pretty serious and... His skill set's still going to be the same, but he's not going to be the goofball that I enjoy so much. Moving on to, I think, number three. Oh, man. This is Man-Thing Volume this 2. This is number three. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Man-Thing Volume 2. Not uh, of anything of, like, a big key or anything. Um, it is the first time it says, whoever knows fear burns at the touch of the Man-Thing. At least on the cover, that's yeah, the first on time the cover. it says it. Which is super cool for me. I'm a big Man-Thing guy. And I think you also quite That's enjoy a really this, cool this line. I like the artwork, and I also like that line. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very cool. like it's almost a little cryptic. It's like, what does that mean? I might be pronouncing the artist's name wrong, but uh, I think it's Weasek, we- something like that. It's right here. I, yeah, Bob Bob Weasek. He also did the Iron Man uh, War Machine cover, so I think that's the only duplicate artist we have so far. And one in, in this li- in our you know in our uh, slabs, but. Um, just super awesome looking book, and like I said, I mean, not every book in your collection needs to be something that's worth a bunch of money or gonna, you know, be a big speculative piece or anything. It could be special to you. I just really like Man Thing, and it's a cool cover. Enough said. On to number two. We got Adventure into Fear 10. Now, this isn't the first appearance of Man Thing, that's in a Conan book. This is the first appearance of people shooting man. <laughs> no, probably not. But uh, while th- bullying him, this cry is a... monster. Oh. <laughs> God, we keep forgetting. Uh, nine point six on uh, nine point six on that one. I don't think we said a lot of the numbers. I think I think we have. I think we have. Anyway, uh, eight point oh on this one. But this is the first cover appearance of Man Thing. It's the first appearance of Man Thing stealing a child. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> also, the first solo title of Man Thing as well. His first solo adventure. So, super cool book. I like the old school art. You know, like, I mean, this is our second oldest book. So we're getting, what is it, 72, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 72. So, you know, we're getting into older stuff here. And I, I like the framing of it. Um, I just quite, I know you don't enjoy this book cover as much as I do. Yeah. I but just, yeah. To, to me, I, this has yeah. just a cool piece of history to it, you know. And I like to see, like, the evolution uh, of comics sometimes. It's kind of neat. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the Marvel Spotlight covers, you know. But ah, the poor child. Time for this. He's gonna cool get shot cover. by his own parents, probably. Um, well, bang! Our oldest book, our oldest graded, but probably our oldest book. Actually, this is how you can tell it's a Kirby cover. Uh, we see all these little like black dots everywhere. That's just always in his art. <laughs> it's yeah, this everywhere. is our our only Kirby piece. Probably. Also, you can tell it's a Kirby cover because it says it. But <laughs> well, that too. So this is our lowest grade book, actually, but it's also our oldest book, so it kind of makes sense, you know. Um, Thor 150, it's a solid 6.0, not bad. Uh, I don't think there's really any color breaks of significance. There's a little bit of, uh, across the spine. There's like a weird line back here on the back of the book. Uh, the back doesn't matter as much to me. The corners aren't great, around the staples aren't great, but it presents pretty well. It doesn't have any major creases or anything. I hate yeah. creases and color, big color breaks and stuff like that. But this presents pretty solid. Again, the colors, I don't know why. Green just is, does not show up. She's quite green. The background is very red. It looks more yeah. a little bit more orangey or scarlet on the camera. I'd say it's a blood orange. Sure. It's basically scarlet. Why not? But um, anyway, first cover appearance of Hela. Also has like a Wrecker and a Destroyer appearance. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then just a super... Sweet cover. I don't know who this little devil man is. That's Loki. Is that Loki? What do you mean? No, oh, I guess it is. He's ugly. <laughs> yeah. He's very ugly. I'm not. A, that's probably the only part of this cover I yeah. don't like is this ugly Loki. In the I cover. thought he was like a demon. No, Loki was just ugly back then. Yeah. They made yeah, him, That's how you know somebody's a bad character. They made him handsome for uh, the movies, and now he's but, handsome in everything else. Regardless. And I like true. this change. Uh, regardless, super sweet helicopter. And we're big fans of Hella. We're big fans big of Hella. Fans. 
That, and like, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that she's not cool. done with in the MCU. I think she survived Surtur. I don't. Because what's Surtur gonna do? Stab her. Nah, Surtur ain't nothing. He did it. Surtur ain't nothing. Surtur stabbed her. She's the queen of death. She's the queen of nothing. Her, her, <laughs> her island exploded. <laughs> nah, but that's our first ten comic slabs. She's the god of death, not queen. We might do whatever. Um, and she's not even the god of death. She's the god of the dead. Man, I don't know Maybe? the exact title. No, she's the goddess of she's death. The, she's, she's the goddess of death. She said it herself. And she's the queen Why of hell. Lie? I don't know if she's the queen I of think hell. she's the queen of hell. I don't know. We might be getting names wrong, but you, you get the gist. Regardless. I'm going to say everything. That way I'm right. <laughs> one time, at least one time. Watch it. None of those are correct. I'm playing both sides. <laughs> playing every side, every possible It's a win-win. Win. Um... But, it's uh, a win lose, technically. But, uh, it's a win lose lose lose. There's lose. a win in there somewhere. <laughs> so that's our first ten comic slabs. We'll be doing another video presumably when we get the next ten, which we have seven getting graded right now. We have one more that's going to be in this uh, Sunday's um, uh, haul video. Haul video. Yeah, almost a tour video. We have that. Not doing another tour video. Around. We have yeah, we have a bunch of cool stuff. Last time our, we didn't have anything. Video. What did we do last well, time? Well, we've been. Building things up. Building things we did up. a tour video last. We did a tour. We video technically last had time. stuff, but we've been waiting patiently. Been holding it off because we want to show you our old stuff. Yeah, we want to show you a big collect. That's why this Before next we video. We add more stuff. Then we're gonna give another tour video every time we add. Stuff. No, 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 no. I think next time we'll do like smaller, little individualized. Like, hey, we've upgraded this part of our collection, and do little things like that. So it'll be more contained videos. But regardless. What cool slabs do you have? Let me know. What are you trying to pick up? Do you agree with me that you should pick up Iron Man 282 and Thor 337 and other cool books like that because they're going to go up, presumably? Because if you buy them, that means they'll probably also still go up. So If you buy the entire market, then you control the market. <laughs> hold off until we've created our whole video involving one of those comics so that we can get them to. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, those are the books right here. Oh, you fool! Anyway, you can buy these books. He doesn't not from us. He doesn't know comic numbers and everything. He just he calls the the uh, Iron Man two eighty two. He just calls that a War Machine book. Hey, it looks cool. Uh, yeah, it's got War Machine on the cover, yeah. but he sprayed over Iron Man. Nah, 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 anyway, it's not Iron not Man. Not sponsored anymore. by Gatorade, but <laughs> sponsor us, Gatorade. We deserve your money. Uh, again, congratulations to. Uh, the My pony, drink is the glared. pony that won uh, the drink, uh, not the drink. Not the one, what am I saying? We need to end the video. Congratulations on the contest. We can send you an Arizona can if you. We're want. probably going to do another contest for Falcon and Winter Soldier, and then after that, I think we're just going to do like subscriber goal contest. So yeah, um, so yeah. The more I look of forward your to Falcon and Winter Soldier. By the way, convinced to next week to we'll us. be here for that. Uh, haul video on Sunday, comics on Wednesday. Y'all know how it goes. We? We've been rambling for too long. It's really late in the morning, in the night, in the night of the early next day. Goodbye, everyone. Honk. Goodbye. <laughs>